Happening right now, volunteers putting the finishing touches on the Altar de Muertos at the County Administration Building. ABC 10 News reporter Marie Cornell is there live right now. Marie, this altar is helping San Diegans honor those who have passed away. Yeah, Virginia, so this is all part of the traditions associated with the Day of the Dead, and we are told that many of these pictures and these candles represent those who have passed away from COVID-19. Even before daylight arrived, volunteers were busy at work unpacking and placing the items needed for this year's Altar de Muertos, which is part of the Dia de los Muertos tradition in Latin America where people make offerings to pay tribute to loved ones who have passed away. For the second year in a row, the altar was set up along the steps of the county admin building, each candle representing someone who passed away. Last year, 900 of those candles were for those who died as a result of COVID-19. This year, more than 4,000 will be lit for those who died of the virus. A reminder that illustrates how many lives have been affected by this pandemic. For me, the opportunity to be able to put the lights up and remember uh, those who lost their lives through this tragedy is um, it's a privilege and it's an honor to be here and to remember them and celebrate their lives. The organizers of the event, Supervisors Nathan Fletcher, Nora Vargas and Assemblywoman Lorena Gonzalez were among the volunteers who put the altar together. They say this altar gives the public a space to come together and think about all of those who are no longer with us, while allowing us to focus on the ongoing challenges this pandemic brings. It's just a reminder that we have to stand you know, strong and continue to fight on their behalf. Now there will be a ceremony tomorrow evening where some of the families who have loved ones uh, who are represented here at the altar will gather. Live outside the County Admin Building, Marie Cornell, ABC 10 News.